Hi friends, in this video we are uh, going to deal with uh, internal business object that is collections in Blue Prism and then we will see like, how to add rows to the like existed collections stage or a table. Okay, let me drag and drop on action stage to view the actions and collections and choose click on like a business object and you can see like under internal business objects you can see like a various business objects are available like collections work queues calendars credentials environment locking and encryption and select collections then you can see like a various uh, options here like an add rows copy rows uh, count columns count rows remove all rows and remove rows okay right in this video we are going to see like you know add rows in the add rows here it is asking like you know collection name of the collection and first let me create like one collection here so here i have like one excel file that is sample data let me download the data to Blue Prism, then we can discuss in detail about how to copy the rows. And let me drag and drop collection stage. So let me assign a name for this one, like a sample data. And first of all, the collection is a group of like several data items in one area and if you see like an add field the fields are nothing but columns and here we have like five columns let me create like five columns here if i click on like an add field then we'll start create like a columns and then map it so copy the column number in excel and paste it here then select the data type is number let me assign a okay, description is like item information then copy it paste it here And similarly, like you know, copy the column names and paste it here. And the item name is the data type is text and item quantity. The data type is uh, number. The order date, order date is. The data type is date and the item cost is the data type is number and we need not uh, define any initial values here the initial values are nothing but like rows in a table and the collection stage is similar to the table in a database or excel spreadsheet means it contains so different data types in one area so let me bring the data from the desktop to blue prism then let, let me use like one action stage here then I require MS Excel VBO for this one. So let me download that. Let me download it. Go to file, import, browse, C drive. Program files, 
Blue Prism Limited, Blue Prism Automate, VBO, and then choose MS Excel VBO. Now it's ready. You can ex if you expand this one, you can see the MS Excel VBO is here. So in the last videos, uh, we have already seen like uh, how to get the data from like you know, a desktop or somewhere in uh, in our system to Blue Prism. So create instance. Choose MS Excel VBO. Now it is showing. Create instance. Enable events so flag mess like it's always true. Go to output. Then click on handle. Then drag and drop one more action stage. Then open workbook. Choose MS Excel VBO. Then create workbook. So drag and drop the handle number here. Then click on workbook name. And drag and drop one more action stage. So if you would like to view, like a show workbook, choose MS Excel VBO, then choose an action like a show. And drag and drop handle number here. So after learn, let me use like one more stage that is uh, get worksheet as a collection. MS Excel VBO. Then drag and drop handle here. So the workbook name is here. And the worksheet name is sheet one. And go to outputs and click on like a collection. And let me map it. The store in. Then click on OK. After download the data, we would like to close the instance as well as like a workbook. And then let me like one more action stage here. Choose an MSX repo. Then close workbook. Then drag and drop the handle number here. Then choose the workbook name is here go to outputs now there is so it won't require anything so close workbook then click on ok and then close instance also choose one more business object here then select MS Excel review close instance Then go to okay, drag and drop the handle number here. Go to outputs. It won't require anything. Just now the information, the data will transfer to this X like collection stage. After that, let me drag and drop one action stage here and then choose the copy 
select internal business object that is collections like you know yard row then collection name is so just if you give uh, it won't require any uh, double quotes etc just give like a name of this collection stage that is sample data So it should be in double quotes. Then click on OK. Okay, link all stages. So reset it. Now it is showing like a zero errors. Then, okay, let me run up to this point. So run to this stage. Now Excel is open, and then let me run up to this point. Run to this stage. And then let me create let me run up to this stage or run to this stage now the information is transferred to the collection stage the data is transferred from so desktop to collection stage in blue prism and then let me run up to this one now the workbook is closed and as well as okay right so if you observe the collection stage it have like So up to 29 records are uh, available here and now I'm going to add like one more row okay or run to this stage and you can see so one more record is added okay uh, to make like more uh, more sense let me delete like more uh, some more records in uh, excel sheet So now I have only like four, three records. So reset it, then run it. Right now it's showing like one of three records. Now it's here like one more record, and you can see here. So it's here like one more record. And please stay with us and in the next video we are going to see like you know, some more actions in collection stage, uh, collection internal business object. Thank you for watching. Please stay with us. Thank you.